Hey, what's up guys? Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today I will review this small USB Wi-Fi hidden spy camera. Is it any good? Let's find out. With a bit of imagination, this small and portable spy camera could easily be hidden in everyday objects, making it really hard to detect. And the camera I got is the Wi-Fi version, which means you can access the camera from anywhere, using an app on your smart device, and get push notifications when the camera detects motion. When using alarm recording, the camera will record a maximum 2 minute video, that will be saved on the SD card or optional the cloud. And you can also set the camera to record 24-7, or schedule recording. When set to continuous recording it will create a new video clip every 10 minutes and you can access it from the app in playbacks. It doesn't have a built in battery so you need to plug it into a power source of some sort, for example a power bank. And I managed to get 14 hours of continuous recordings when connected to a 5000 mA power bank. However that is in 720p since that's the highest resolution this camera have even though it's advertised as a 1080p camera. So image quality isn't very good. And it doesn't have night vision so in complete darkness you can't see anything. The camera sells for around $20 on AliExpress and $50 on Amazon. And if you're interested in buying this camera you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So what we get in the box is the camera, a micro SD card reader, a pin to reset the camera and a quick start guide. On the camera itself all we got is the SD card slot, indicator light and the reset button. And the camera is bendable so you can easily adjust it to your liking. So to connect to the camera with your smart device we need to download an app called V380 Pro which you will find on either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app installed, turn on the camera by plugging it into a power source. You should also insert the SD card before power it on. And the indicator light on the camera should be solid red. If it's not, you can reset the camera by holding down the reset button for about 3 seconds. Now go to your smart device Wi-Fi list and look for a network called MV followed by some numbers and connect to it. Open up the app and the camera should show up here. You need to first add a password before you can access live view. And when that's done you should be connected to the camera. And to add your Wi-Fi we go to settings, network and then select your Wi-Fi and add your password. And don't forget to change your smart device back to your Wi-Fi as well. And that's it. Now you can access the camera from anywhere. Okay, so if we tap on the play button, we go into live view and here we can turn on and off the microphone and change the image quality. Talk through the camera is not supported since it doesn't have a speaker. And here we can take a snapshot, record video and in replay we can access the playbacks from the SD card. Red on the timeline is continuous recordings and blue is the alarm recordings. If we go back out and into settings and then video record, we can check the status of the SD card and if we want continuous recording or alarm or both. And what image quality and as I said before the highest resolution this camera can record in is in 720p. In alarm we can set a schedule or in what area we want motion detection active. This camera does not have an alarm sound though. Ok I think that's most of the settings we got. Let's have a look at some recordings I did. Here I test the camera outdoors and as you can see image quality isn't very good. and some indoor recordings.
Here I test how long it takes to get the push notification when motion is detected. And I'm using mobile data here as well. Alright guys, that's all I had for this video, thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.